Lightweight. Kind of hard to put in words. Uh, I've been in uh, a few Hall of Fames, but uh, I think this is one of the top the list. Coleman, Ronnie Coleman, Mr. Mr. Olympia. Olympia. Yeah, uh, a lot of people don't know, but uh, I had to be persuaded to get into sport of bodybuilding. And uh, like you said, I was in law enforcement, and uh, I just got out of the academy, and the guy saw me on the uh, streets one day and asked me where I worked out, and I told him I, I worked out at, uh, at the station because I uh, <laughs> couldn't afford no gym membership. <laughs> I never, ever wanted to go into bodybuilding. I, I had seen the sport a couple of times and saw some of the guys, and I'm like, no, uh, there's no way I could get that big <laughs> ever in life. So when I went to the gym, the guy who owned it, Brian Dobson, said, uh, man, you're a pretty big guy. You know, I, I was uh, 5'11", 210, 215 maybe. And he said, uh, you ever did any uh, bodybuilding? I'm like, nope. <laughs> I think you can do pretty good in the sport. And three or four days go by, and he finally said, uh, man, I'm, I think you could, you know, probably be one of the best bodybuilders ever. I mean, yeah, I think you do real good. You probably even, Win the Mr. Olympia. I'm like, whoa, what's that? <laughs> he said, I tell you what. He said, I give you a free membership if you compete in this show coming up in a couple months. I was like, dude, you pretty much had me at free. <laughs> Brian trained me and taught me how to diet and you know, uh, taught me everything about bodybuilding because I didn't, I didn't know anything at the time. Uh, I went in my first show like three months later, won first and overall in like three or four shows. And in that same year, I went to uh, the biggest bodybuilding amateur show and placed third. And uh, I was pretty overwhelmed because I, like I said, I never thought much about bodybuilding and uh, never thought I could do good at it anyway. And the next year, I went to the world championship as an amateur called Mr. Universe and won first place there and uh, overall and turned pro. The rest is pretty much history. <laughs> it's been very famous around the world, subject of a Netflix documentary. Yeah. And like mm -hmm. I said, the Michael Jordan of his sport. Louisiana Sports Hall of Famer, Ronnie Coleman, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>